Hello there, Libra. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Hope you're doing really well. Okay, so let's see. Overall, what is this person feeling about you? We have the nine of coins. The knight of swords. We have the five of wands. We have the page of cups and we have the eight of cups. Just get one more tarot card here. This person seems just all over the place right now. Here's the world. Wow. Okay. The eight of cups with the world. I'm getting like, this is a long distance connection here. Um, or this person's trying to like put something to rest or put something behind them or complete something, move on to something um, before they're ready to give you an offer. This was splitting from the deck, the Ace of Pentacles, and right underneath it, we have the Lover. So I feel like this is kind of like a delayed thing for this person right now. Like they're, they do see this potential with you. They see this oper golden opportunity with you, but they might not be ready to like put it into action just yet. I feel like this person's struggling a lot with maybe stuff in their daily life. I feel like they have a lot of drama that they have to um, deal with right now, um, or just like a, they're really busy. They just have a lot of things that they need to attend to. Maybe they have a lot of people that they need to talk to every day. However, I do feel like you're this refreshing spot in their day here with this page of cups. Um, I feel like you're kind of like their oasis, like where they just really enjoy like indulging with you. The nine of coins, I feel like this person is trying to maybe work hard to break free from something to become um, financially independent, maybe um, get a new job or something. I feel like there's a lot of energy being put into that right now. So let's see. This is um, Call of the Muse, number 31. Interesting. So I feel like you are a great inspiration for this person. The Page of Cups can be all about inspiration as well. Um, I feel like you're kind of like calling to their heart's deepest, deepest desires. Um, their, their current life is a struggle, it feels like. And so they feel something. They recognize you on a very deep soul level. Um, I feel like they, they really feel like they want to like put down roots with you or something. I do feel like they would go anywhere and do anything for you. Um, but they just have to get in a position where they feel like that's possible. But I really get that this person will put in a lot of effort for you. Like someone who would fight for you. And here's cold shoulder. Um, silence, distance, coldness. Someone is feeling shut out. So distance, I'm getting like this person is distant from you. They could be keeping an emotional distance as well. I feel like not entirely. Um, there is some affection here, but I feel like they really are trying to maybe keep their emotions out of it. Closed off, yeah. Um, try not to get too fired up. Guarded, defensive, resistant. Okay, but something in you is really like sparking something within this person like where they can't deny you they can't stay away maybe they're kind of trying to stay away stay back but they're like no 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 this is like you feel like their soul's deepest calling is what it feels like to them so they can't ignore you here's breathe number 29 so yeah when they do get some peace like they do notice like you bring them peace you bring them um like sanity like clarity you bring them like all sorts of qualities that they are looking for do you bring them exactly what they're looking for in life? So I feel like they, this is how they recognize that you're someone very important to them. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes. Yeah, speaking of that, we just have a lot of cards coming out here. Here's shining through number 30. So it's kind of similar to this card. Um, we have birds of a feather, number 25 and, um, and endless possibilities, number 38. Okay. So this person feels like you guys are just alike on so many different levels and you really shine through just maybe all the other people or options around them. Um, so I do feel like even if they feel things are difficult right now to maybe come together, they, they are open to the possibilities. I feel like they're, they're like, just like, okay, something interesting is going to happen here. So they do see beyond any obstacles or difficulties in this connection. They could also be from like kind of a cold or snowy climate, perhaps. So snow could be important in this connection if, because I don't feel like this person's really trying to totally shut you out. It could be a temporary thing as well, where they're like, I can't get too emotionally involved right now. I have to protect myself. Um, I have a lot to accomplish first before I'm ready to offer the 10 of pentacles. All right. So how else are they feeling about you? Number four. Here's the star. Interesting, because I was getting like that wishing upon a star thing going on here. 
So they, they feel like you're really connected to the stars, or they almost see you as a star, they see you as a shining star. Ooh, the Ace of Cups, another beautiful card. All right, so underneath it all, they either do feel or feel the potential for like a beautiful love with you. I feel like they really want to fall in love with you. They probably have started, but they're just being careful. And here's Eight of Cups. Yes, they are being careful. So here's the Justice card as well. Um, they could be maybe trying to leave another relationship, perhaps. Um, but I feel they, it's like they're delaying like falling in love with you here until they can really offer you maybe something equal. I feel like they want to um, give you whatever you're giving them. This is someone who likes to do things very in a very reciprocal manner. All right, so we have the Seven of Swords. And we have the Star again. Okay, Seven of Swords isn't always the greatest card, but I feel like the star surrounding it here, it seems like that kind of softens it somehow where they're just hiding maybe their hopes for this connection. They're hiding maybe some of their future plans. Maybe they're hiding how much they do see you in their future, hiding how much they are, you know, trying to figure out how to find a way to you or to um, just get closer to you. And then here's the Three of Cups. Let's clarify the Three of Cups. I feel like if you guys are just friends right now, this friendship with you is just helping like elevate them. Okay, here's the Four of Cups because they were in a very just bad state before they met you. Um, you maybe helped alleviate some of their depression. And here's the Empress. Yeah, I feel like you came in, you, you just like unleashed this really powerful drive and desire in them. Um, it's almost like they had like given up on life before. Uh, some of this is mirrored in pile three as well. All right, what else do we got? All right, we have the three of pentacles, another three. Wow, three, three, three. So this person really feels like you guys could create something beautiful together. And here's the eight of pentacles. Another creative, hardworking card. Okay, so I feel like this person wants to be working hard on themselves, working hard on developing their skills and talents, and working on developing some kind of fi um, financial independence or some kind of um, just place where they feel pretty content and satisfied with where they are in life, like proud of themselves and their career success. But in the meantime, I feel like they want to continue like building a foundation with you because they do feel like you guys make really good teammates. And here's the King of Pentacles. Yeah, definitely, this person is working hard toward um, building that foundation, um, being someone who wants to show up for you. King of Pentacles is like a wonderful person to be in a relationship with. Because they're the kind of person who wants to just assure that you're provided for, they're committed, you know, they're, they're serious business where they're not going to be off like hiding things and playing games and stuff like that. All right, we have feeling stuck. Yeah, that's what this person's problem is right now. They're trying to fight their way out, like desperately of feeling very stuck maybe where they are. Um, they really want to change their life. They want to shift their life. Building a legacy together. Yeah, this person, I feel like they really feel that right now you're their number one choice to build something together with, to have a future with. And oh, here's I love you. Definitely coming through. That makes sense right over the Ace of Cups because this is one of my I love you cards. This can be unspoken love. All right. And then we have trust issues. Yeah, that's the main thing. The Seven of Swords could be speaking of their trust issues. They're really hoping that maybe that they can trust you. So um, they feel like you represent hope after their painful past of maybe being betrayed, lied to, let down by people. So I feel like this is the one thing that's just stopping them from just admitting like, hey, yeah, I really love you and I want to build something together, um, but I do feel stuck where I am. So these are the two things. Like, look, we have this like sandwiched here, like feeling stuck and trust issues is sandwiching like what the heart of the matter, like the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups together.
This could be the one. Yeah, I was feeling that for sure. You've already met the romantic partner you seek and calling in your soulmate. So I feel like maybe um, they feel like they were praying for someone like you and you came through true love also splitting from the deck. So all the really beautiful cards in this deck. I just saw honeymoon as well. Um, so yeah, I feel like this person wants to just take you on some nice um, getaways or something. That could be what this eight of cups in the world is about as well. And they're working on feeling like it's safe to open their heart again and safe to love you. I feel like so far you have given them um, every reason to feel safe um, with you. But they want to keep giving it some time. They might have like a set amount of time they want to give it. You know, like a year, two years. And of course, you don't have to wait for someone if you don't want to. But it's just good to kind of like enjoy the process and make sure that you're still working on yourself. So you never have to regret any feeling like any time was wasted. All right, we have fate. This is a destined partnership. So they definitely feel that there was something faded about your meeting that you guys might just end up together and they might just want to kind of go with the flow and just, they really feel like if it's meant to be, then the circumstances are going to keep um, bringing you guys closer together. And decision, it's time to make a decision about this relationship. I feel like they are not ready to make a decision. You know, they're just like kind of struggling with a lot of different paths and options and spiritual lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. Patience, everything will unfold as it should in divine timing. So I feel like they are learning a lot from you. You're helping them grow. Um, just like in pile three, I was getting like the, um, the image from like the Grinch who stole Christmas and um, like the scene where his heart is growing, like by 10 times or whatever that day same thing could be happening here like you're just really helping this person to heal their heart open their heart again we have island number 45 it's almost like they want to escape to an island with you just like go live on an island somewhere together they could live on an island um they could also just really isolate themselves a lot and you maybe keep them company in their isolation and the law of attraction number 14 this is interesting i feel like that goes along with that like calling in your soulmate where they feel like um they kind of like manifested you in a way like you showed up out of their thoughts like the, you're like the ideal partner who just showed up out of their thoughts also this is a referring to just how they feel like there's just like this natural attraction between you two it's just like a fact. It's just the fate that you guys are so attracted to one another. And here's balance yourself. Number 31. Interesting. We have family and career. So this person really does strive for family and career balance. Like family is um, like at least or more important to them than their career. But both are very, very um, important. And here's seek inspiration. Number 32. And this is interesting. Another connection to pile three where I was mentioning the Capricorn cancer axis. Um, so yeah, I feel like this person definitely, they could be like a cancer rising Capricorn um, setting person or vice versa. All right. Oh, we have the ring number 25. So this is all about commitment, loyalty, maybe making some kind of serious offer engagement. They could be maybe thinking of what kind of ring to buy for you. Perhaps let's get one more card here. Beautiful. Um, red could be their favorite color. I'm just looking at like that Ruby there. It's beautiful. And then we have this labyrinth number 43. So yeah, I feel like this is them still like struggling with stuff, trying to just buy their time and make a decision. They do feel like maybe there's a lot of, it's like a long and winding path to get to you. It's not like a straight shot, but they're like shoot for the moon. So you land among the stars or whatever that quote is. Um, here's despair number 32 now that's a very sad card the five i think it's like the five of wands here so sometimes they are feeling hopeless we also have not hiring here so it, they could be just worried like maybe they're not going to get a job or they're unhappy in their current job situation it's a sad card i feel like they just want everything to work out because i feel they so want to just be there to be able to offer offer something to you and just take care of you they just want to like take you into their arms and just like make you part of their family I feel like they want this so much because they just feel like you're so special. And here is bad health, number 31. So this could be literal for some of you with this person. Um, but I feel like this could also mean like just mentally that they're in a bad state sometimes. 
So yeah, or they could be despairing over like some health issues with a loved one or something, or just like the state, the health of the world right now. And yeah, here's poverty goodness, number 37. So this is like what they're dealing with. This is why like the five of wands is here. I feel it's like all these external circumstances. It has nothing to do with they, they don't want to be close to you. Um, Here's privileged lady, number 12. So they're, they have you like on a pedestal and they're like, wow, you know, I want some of some of this. I want some of what you have. I want to be close to you. I do feel like they... They're always there and wanting to know what you have to say. They really care about how you feel. I feel like if you ever tell them something, they definitely have like genuine concern about it. Okay, here's the 10th house. Interesting Capricorn coming through here now. Um, your achievements and status in the outside world. Yes, um, I'm definitely getting this. Like they're working hard on their career. This is where they're focused right now. The world is, you know, Capricorn, the elevated form of Capricorn here. I feel like they really want to make a positive impact on the world here. They could also be like a um, like rock music fan or something. This energy is freedom loving, rebellious, idealistic, and technological. So that could be kind of a description of them as well. Aquarius um, as well there. So anything else to be said here? Yeah, this person's like going for the gold. They, they have big ambitions, but part of those ambitions is like they definitely want a family. They definitely want to be um, with, with you because like this could be the one here. All right, we have walking away, number 27. Interesting, because we have the Eight of Cups showing up here. I think we have, we have the Eight of Cups showing up down here. I can't remember. Either way, um, they are really ready to leave something behind. They, they're willing to just like leave it all behind for you and start a new life is what I'm getting. Yeah, and make an offer to you, kind of like the King of Pentacles, man holding a coin. They really are like holding on to nothing right now. They're They're ready for a new life. Okay, here's broken heart number nine. So they might still be mending something from their past or it could be just heartbreaking if you guys like aren't together right now. Here's the garden and the gate number 30. So I feel like they just want to keep you safe and they just want to like make sure that you're still going to be there for them. They just think you're precious. You're, you're someone precious to them. They could be just really sad like that you guys can't be together right now. And here's Goddess of the Moon, number 52. Another card to me that speaks like just of how highly they think of you, how much they have you on a pedestal, maybe just how much they really like your feminine qualities, your softer qualities, your softer side, you know, whatever gender you are. Um, here's Door to Value, number 31. So this person, yeah, I'm just getting like, they want to shower you with gifts. That was coming through pile three as well. Um, they are really definitely like willing to provide for you to just take care of you. They, they feel like you've earned it. They feel like you deserve it. Yeah, they just want to like give you all this amazing abundance. Number 11, Cornucopia. All right, so again, yeah, lots of stuff coming through from for pile three. Um, I know you guys sometimes don't like when I mention the other piles too much, which is understandable, but sometimes I can't help it because there's just so many weird similarities and they just feel so fluidly connected. Um, and here's Rabbit, that's cute. Recognize your significance. I'm going to get one more of these. We also have um, Unicorn back there. I feel like this person has recognized your significance in their life. This is also advice for you to, you know, make sure you're, you're feeling good, like you're feeling good enough for this person. You stay in your power and your sovereignty. Okay. This one, I think we have like three that want to come through. Donkey. Um, keep your heart open no matter what. Well, I mean, definitely like be careful with it, guard it, but, um, you know, tentatively, tentatively open it up, you know, get the happier and happier you get. I feel like the safer your heart is from infiltrations and draining, um, and just people who are going to hurt you. So I really feel like happiness is a strength for it, which makes sense because Leo is the heart and Leo is also the strength card. Owl, listen to the messages of the angels and then we have gray squirrel how cute find new ways of solving problems all right yeah so i feel like this is saying listen to your intuition you're getting wiser and wiser all the time so keep sharpening um your intelligence your higher your higher knowledge and wisdom and there's going to be some ways for this to work out so keep listening for solutions like and you're going to be able to do that by just staying like quieting your mind and it having the intention to connect to the highest and purest um, information source available, one that you know truly has your best interest at heart, heart and truly loves you. Um, 
And we on the bottom of the deck, I had to show this because we have four elephants on the table today. Elephant, open yourself to true abundance. Yeah, lots of abundance coming through this reading. Then we have patience. Um, pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Be patient and play whilst you wait. Be patient and play while you, whilst you wait. That's cool. Yeah, I was getting, you just need to be happy and enjoy and not worry too much on like how something's going to work out here. And you're going to feel a lot freer then. Let's get you a few advice cards. Pile four. We have inspiration will come soon. Okay, this is interesting because I was definitely getting like you guys are getting some kind of ideas or something here. And maybe you're getting like a refreshment in like motivation. So yeah, go by like act on inspiration in this connection. It's always best to act on inspiration rather than fear and ego um, reflexes. Focus on what is most important. Yes, definitely. Which would be um, you know, your spiritual connection because that will help, you know, really guide you in the best direction. You know, their true pure spiritual connection. And all you need to do is believe. All you need to do is believe. So, and your finances are improving again. Wow. Okay. <laughs> So good money coming in for you here. And if there's something you really want to accomplish, you know, start believing in yourself more, write down what it is you want to do, put energy and intention into it. Make sure it's coming from inspiration, coming from your heart's true desire rather than like an ego thing or something you feel like you need to do or everyone expects you to do. All right. So shadow message from them. Don't leave me. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. So I feel like this person is invested in you and they are afraid of losing you because they haven't quite told you how they feel. And they are afraid that you might just up and leave them. So they, they have some abandonment fears here. Light messages. All right. Um, I often think of the first time we met and I'm grateful you came into my life. Okay. I'm not surprised that like Capricorn is coming through here because it just feels so just like formal and nice. So <laughs> very nice. And here's, I can be myself around you. So I feel like they're incredibly grateful for this because if they are kind of like a serious business type person, um, they're not very comfortable around anyone. They don't feel like they can just let loose and they just love being able to just do whatever around you. You're home to me. That's so sweet. So we here we have the Capricorn cancer thing coming through again. Okay. Um, let's just get a couple from this deck. I almost grabbed it. I miss you to you. This is like the eight of cups. So they really do feel like if they left or if you are in a situ situation where it's separated, um, they really do miss you and they're afraid like they just want to know that you're feeling the same and I'm too afraid to talk to you yeah exactly I'm afraid to get close afraid to say how I feel listen to your heart wow another thing about like listening to inspiration wow that's amazing love is the answer on the bottom of the deck so keep following what your heart is loving like what do you love to do Act with love. What does love look like? Make sure that everything in your life is, you know, people are treating you with love and kindness. You know, anyone that's not, you know, reevaluate. Also make sure that's how you're treating yourself as well. Okay. It doesn't mean you can't have structure and discipline. Structure and dis discipline are, can be very loving, good things, but they have to be coming from a good place. Okay. So let's see more message cards. Um, things aren't always as they seem. Yeah. It's kind of like, they haven't told you everything about their life. They haven't told you everything about their feelings. They've only shown you little bits here and there with that page of cups. Everything I do reminds me of you. So you could be just like heavily on their mind. Everything they see, they just want to like share with you. They think of you. They think like, oh, how would um, pile four like this? I wasn't looking for this. I don't know how to deal with this. Yeah, that's why they are remaining distant because they're like, oh, I don't know about the timing of this. This is weird. Like not weird in a bad way. Just like, what the heck do I do? I miss you more than I know, more than you know, and more than I know too, apparently. Um, I miss you, do you. So two cards about missing you or just, if you guys um, aren't exactly separated, they could just be like longing for you. And I'm terrified of you or I'm terrified of my feelings for you. I'm terrified that you could leave me, that you could hurt me or that I can't get to you in time. All right. And I can see eternity in your eyes. So yeah, they do see you as like their life partner or just someone that they really feel, um, you know, would complete their life. I'm entwined in the thought of finding you one day. 
my love for you goes so deep and I constantly feel you running through my veins. Yeah, that goes along with that. Like, hey, everything I do reminds me of you. Everything I see reminds me of you. I feel you so strongly. I can taste your essence. So even if you guys are long distance, it's like they feel like you're like right next door to them practically. They, they feel no like gap or strangeness between you two. Okay, I think that's all I have for you.